what's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel and today we have got a lot to talk about because um obviously we've got a new assistant manager all the fixtures have come out today and we've also got the draws and all that we've got loads to talk about and we're going to be talk uh, i'm going to talk about like my, my opinions on them so if you do enjoy make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so uh let's dive into the video so the first thing I want to talk about is the fixture list and our first game of the season is Harrogate away. I would have preferred to be at home but I really don't care. Our second game is at home. Uh, we are playing Salford at home so yeah. And our third game of the season is Carlisle away. And the fourth and fifth games will both be at home, so at one point we will be playing twi two, twice in a row away. So I'm not even going to bother saying if I like the fixture list or not, because we're, we're still going to be playing all the teams twice anyway, so yeah. So the next thing I want to talk about is the Carabao Cup draws. And um, in the first round, we are going to be playing um, Walsall away. We have played them twice last season away. One was in... Um, the FA Cup we won 2-1 and then uh, obviously in the league we won 3-0. But now they've got their mass takeover. I think they're richer than most of the Premier League. I think they're richer than all the Premier League teams except for Newcastle. So if they make all the sign-ins before the start of the season, it will be tough. So the next thing I want to talk about is who we've got. Uh, that's, that's our fourth team in the Packers Jones Trophy. And um, the fourth team was confirmed earlier today. And it is Crystal Palace under 21s. So we've had the fixture list revealed today. We've had um, the Carabao Cup revealed today. And uh, so for the Papa Trump's Trophy. So lots have happened today. Obviously the past few years. We've just been having like Chelsea under 21s. And Arsenal under 21s. So good to see a new team. So the next thing I want to talk about. Is uh, what's been happening behind the scenes for Swindon. And we have announced um, a new arrival. Of his, um, f as our new assistant manager, Jamie Day. Some of you might not know who he is, and uh, he, if you don't know who he is, he's been uh, an assistant manager for Barrow, uh, Forest Green, and uh, he's had some international uh, football experience with Bangladesh as well. So hopefully, when he gets given the chance in League Two, um, he can help us a lot, like to win the games and hopefully bring us back into League One. Obviously, I've never heard of him, but he sounds really uh, good, and let's hope he is good. So, some of you might have already heard about the news about what, um, what the arrests um, with Swindon against Port Vale. Uh, there's been three arrests made but after um, what, what happened after the game. For, uh, obviously, after I saw what happened after the game, it wasn't it wasn't just three p people. It was loads and loads of people, so there should be way more arrests be, uh, happening. I'm not sure about you, but I think... The club should get fined for it. Like if if they're not going to get rid of like arrest every single person, just find the club. It's just as simple as that. It's just making it more harder for the, uh, for themselves. Like don't get me wrong, at least they're uh, dealing with it. But out of all the fans that have been um like get being involved with all the attacks with the players, there's only been made three arrests made. Obviously, it's just needed to be is. Like I said, just said, at least it's dealt with, but it, it, there, it's more needs to happen. So the last thing I want to talk about is Swindon have made their first signing of the summer and of um, Lindsay uh, arriving at Swindon uh, with Oscar Massey. He was an eight, he's an 18 year old who um, did get released by uh, Plymouth and uh, obviously Swindon have signed him now. And it is a, uh, it is a fact for you guys that um, he was a player, he was playing for the under 18s at Truro City when he was 13 years old and also obviously he is good so obviously um, Oscar Massey is 18 so we don't know his full ability yet so we'll probably be uh, having to you'll probably play in like a Papa John's trophy game or friendly game to see how he uh, plays and you never know he might play in some league games but in the leagues he'll most probably be unlikely because he won't be competing against Harry McCurdy because if he if he's gonna play like the exact same as last season, there's no chance he's gonna play. So that's the end of the video. Um, all the stuff that I'm gonna be talking about today. Uh, if you did enjoy enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to um 700 subscribers. It mean a lot if we get there. Anyway, have a great day, and you know what to do. Chill. 
guys, I know I just ended the video there, but as um, we were talking about, um, as I was editing the video, I got a notification that Tyree Shade has signed for Swindon. He's an absolute outstanding player. I've seen him play for Mansfield, and the reason I like him as a player, he's got my name. So yeah, I can't wait to see him uh, play, uh, play now. And that was an unexpected signing, but an amazing one as well. Now I'm gonna end the video there. You know what to do? Chill.